The four P's of personal branding. These four P's is something that I've developed over the last 14 years. A lot of people skip the four P's and they wonder why their personal brand is not succeeding, why they're struggling to get clients and struggling to get ahead. It's because you're skipping over the things that really make your personal brand what it is. Your personal brand is not a logo. Your personal brand is a story that other people tell about you when you're not even in the room. Yo, what's up, GOATs? Design GOAT is a weekly podcast hosted by yours truly, Courtney Sargent Sr. I'm a 14-year award-winning graphic and web design veteran with over 100 websites under my belt, over 50,000 hours in the game, designed for Fortune 100 companies like Frito-Lay, and my work has been featured and seen on the New York Times, Good Morning America, uh, The Food Network, and Beyonce.com, just to name a few, you know? And each week on the show, I'm going to break down and discuss the art and the business of all things design. And I'm going to inspire you as a designer to discover and unleash your inner design goat. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Only in this episode, I'm going to give you guys just a, a quick recap of who I am and what this show is about, just in case. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you are just now tuning into the show for the first time, maybe. Um, but let me just give you kind of a recap or introduction of what the show is. I help experts uh, elevate their boring brand so that they can look professional online, make a living doing what they love and feel supported along the way. And I'm all about going up together. Let me ask you a couple of questions. I want you to really think about this. Do you really want to be a successful entrepreneur? Do you want to build a personal brand that would last for generations, a personal brand that people will remember. If you answer yes to those questions, then this show is going to be one of the best podcasts that you've really discovered in a long time. And again, I'm Courtney. I'm an award winning graphic designer, web designer, brand strategist. And um, I've been doing this for over 14 years. And I'm going to give you some game changing. Like, listen, I'm really trying not to get too excited. But I'm going to give you some game cha- game changing advice and strategies on how to build a personal brand and how to create your online presence so that you look like the expert that you are. You're also going to hear from time to time from some guests who have used personal branding to grow their career and to grow their business and to succeed in life. So I didn't do any interviews on the first time around, but this time around, man, I've met some people and we're definitely going to be doing some interviews and I just feel like I, I, I know that hearing other people's story is going to really motivate and inspire you. And that's what I'm all about. This is going to be one of the most valuable and enriching shows that you'll ever listen to. And I like to think that I have a magnetic, uh, really just down to earth personality that people can relate to and people can get along with. And it's going to leave you feeling empowered and inspired. And I really hope and um encourage you to listen into the show on a weekly basis. I'll be publishing one episode every week It's going to be on Wednesdays. Man, it's going up in a major way. I'm really, really excited about this show. So let's make it better by going up together. Again, that's what this show is all about. So let's really jump into today's episode. I know that was kind of a longer intro and I typically don't like long intros. Let me just tell you that right now. I like to get straight to the point. But I wanted to take time in this particular uh, episode so that you guys really understand who I am and you understand what the show is all about. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about the four P's of personal branding. Okay, the four P's of personal branding. And these four P's are something that I've developed over the last 14 years as I've been, you know, working, having like real life experience (laughs) doing the work that I'm, you know, I'm talking to you guys about. And the content is just so powerful because this will help you if you're just getting started. This will help you if you don't know what to do exactly. You know, if you've recently made a career change, I know millions of people in America have and, you know, they've started businesses. And so this these four P's of creating a personal brand will help you get started on the right foot. And here's the other thing. A lot of people skip the four P's. I mean, encourage you not to skip the four P's. Lots of people skip these steps and they wonder why their personal brand is not succeeding, why they're struggling, why they're, you know, struggling to get clients and struggling to 
to uh, get ahead is because you're skipping over the stuff that really matters. You're skipping over the things that really make your personal brand what it is. Your personal brand is not a logo, right? It's not um, your graphics and your website, the things that you see. That's a part of your brand identity, but that's not your personal brand. Your personal brand is your reputation. Your personal brand is a story that other people tell about you when you're not even in the room. Right. Your personal brand is the experience people have with you. That last experience they had with you, that last encounter they had, that is your personal brand. And so you have to do everything to cultivate, develop and protect that personal brand. And I'm going to teach you how to package your personality and package your story into a personal brand so that you can be successful in business and in life. If you're ready, let's jump into it. All right, the four P's of a personal brand. The first P is product. The second P is process. The third P is position. And the fourth P is presentation. And so I'm gonna go through, spend about five minutes talking about each one of these to break these down. Not in super great detail. We'll do that in follow-up episodes. But so let's let's jump into it. So the first P is the product. The product pillar, this is all about clearly defining your product and services and really setting up the foundation to your business. In this pillar, you're gonna really get some clarity on what your business is. You're gonna get clarity on, you know, what you need to start a company, like your LLC, you know, your business name. Um, you're gonna get clarity on what you need to start a company and have a professional personal brand. And you'll also clearly define your business strategy by identifying your products and services that's gonna generate your income. And when you're done, you're gonna have the clarity and strategy that you need to create a magnetic and elevated personal brand. And before I really jump into a lot of detail, let me, there's something I'm, I left out. So going through these four Ps, this is typically what I do in branding boot camps. And so there are exercises and worksheets, and there's a personal branding workbook that I have that I give my clients to fill out as we go through um, the half day workshop or boot camp. So th that's actually how I utilize these four P's. Under the, the first pillar of product, you're gonna have your business basics like your business name, your LLC. You gotta get that stuff, you know, you gotta get your business registered. You're also gonna write down your services. There's gonna be a services worksheet. You, you simply need to list out the services that you have. What are your services? Um, if you only have one, then that's fine. Um, but you want to write out your services. You want to do a problem pleasure exercise. The problems is the biggest thing, man, because there's really only two emotions that we as humans act on. And that's pain and pleasure, right? Love and hate. That also translates into problems and solutions, right? Pain, pleasure, problem, solution. And so you really got to understand this because you got to get inside of the mind of your most valuable client so that you can better serve them. And when you know your customer's problems better than anyone else, then you can serve them better than anyone else. All right. The next thing you want to do in the first pillar is come up with a business model. The business model is going to sum up into one paragraph who you are, what you do, who you serve and how you're going to make money and what makes you unique. And this is kind of like a um, it's kind of like a, an abbreviated elevator pitch. Like It's really conversational. If someone asks you, what do you do? This is pretty much what you tell them. So again, this is the first pillar of the four P's, the four P's of personal branding. The first one is product. This is where you really define your products and services. You really understand your business and setting the foundation for starting a business. The second P is process. Now, the process is something that, you know, pretty much most people, <laughs> most people skip over the process. This is how you're going to run your business. Um, what are the exact steps that someone is going to take to become a client? Everything from A to Z. Like you really got to understand your client acquisition process. Where are you going to get clients from? Um, what is the strategy for you getting these clients? You need to write that out and to, and to define all of that. And again, the client process. What are those exact steps of the process of serving a client from start to finish? from inquiry to thank you for your business and maybe we can work together again in the future, right? Um, and then the other part of the process is the people. People, people, people. People is one of the biggest things. And as a solopreneur, you're probably working by yourself right now. You're probably running your business alone and that's okay. But at some point, you're gonna need to bring in more people to help you. 
whether it's someone helping you with your social media or someone helping you, you know, with the legal side of your business or accounting or someone helping you with your website. Um, I don't you know, obviously, I, I don't know all of the intri intricacies of your business. And so you know who you need to help you with your business and to help you run your business. So that's the process. You got to understand all of the the insights and the step by step and how the gears turn of your business. The third P is position. So once you know what you're selling, right, you can position what you sell. That's what this is all about. It's about how you can identify and stand out from everybody else in the market that's probably offering the same services. Position refers to how your brand is perceived in, in the market um, by consumers in relation to your competitors. Basically, it's how people view you, right? Like how they view you, which becomes, again, what is your brand? Your reputation, right? So your position is your reputation as well. And it's extremely important to present yourself to the right people with the right message at the right time, you know, with the right offer. Positioning will allow you to do that. And we use something called brand messaging uh, to help with that. And so as part of the positioning phase, you need to create your most valuable client profile, which you'll hear me refer to your MVC, which is your most valuable client, a lot on this show. You also need to write your story brand script. You need to come up with a creative one liner, right? Your one liner. I said mine earlier. You probably didn't catch it. I help experts elevate their boring brand so that they can look professional online, make a living doing what they love and feel supported along the way. That's my one liner. Um, and then finally, you need to write your elevator pitch. So that's the third P, uh, which is position. All right, let's move on to the fourth P and then we're going to wrap this up. The fourth P is presentation. When most people think of a brand, they think of presentation. The presentation is all about how you show up online. That's that's really it. Your online presence is paramount because it needs to be on point. It's going to help you look like a professional, help you look like the expert that you are. Right. You probably have years of experience doing what you do. But if you don't have a professional presentation, then people aren't going to take you serious. It's much easier for an amateur to look like an expert than it is for an expert to be successful looking like an amateur. Mm. OK, let me say that again. It's much easier for an amateur to look like an expert and be successful than it is for an expert to look like an amateur and be successful. Basically, what that means is you got to have your presentation on point. OK, let me give you the personal branding checklist. I'm getting so excited about this. I literally can talk about this stuff all day. Personal branding checklist. This is what you need. Pull out your notes if you can and write this down. You need a logo. It needs to be professionally designed, not something from Canva or Fiverr, because I can't tell you how many logos I've redesigned that was created from Fiverr. Nothing against Fiverr, but you just need to know how to find a designer that can uh, design the right logo for you. Uh, the other thing that you need is your color palette. So you need your logo, your color palette, which typically those two things will come together. You need your website. You need brand photography. I'm not talking about stock photography that you can find and search online. Those are OK, but you need brand photography. You need a photo shoot. OK, um, you need a brand guide that will help you and help everybody else that work with you understand, OK, this is my brand. This is what it looks like. This is where the files are located. These are the guidelines, right? You need a lead magnet. A lead magnet is a valuable piece of content that you can exchange uh, for someone's email address. So it, for me, I have a, um, a branding checklist as a lead magnet. I have 10 website mistakes and how to fix them. That's a lead magnet. So something like that. It's a PDF. Um, and people can download it and give you their email address and then you can contact them later, you know, for remarketing and all that. So you need your lead magnet. You need your LinkedIn, uh, your LinkedIn summary. And I'm not talking about your resume. You need a customized LinkedIn summary. I don't have time to go into it. You need an Instagram bio and you need your link tree so that you can, you know, link slap <laughs> so you can put your <laughs> sorry you can put your uh your link tree in your in your instagram bio and you can even put it in your linkedin summary as well and finally which is really really important you need a social media strategy uh, you need a strategy that will identify how you're going to create content who you're creating content for what is your posting schedule like 
uh, and all that good stuff. So that's the presentation. The presentation, again, is how you showing up online. That's man. This is a really big one. All of these are really big, to be honest with you. So that's the four P's uh, product process position and presentation. Those are the four P's of a personal brand. And it goes so much deeper than this. But um, I, I want to keep these episodes pretty short. And, you know, this is certainly not the last time we're going to talk about this. I have so much information and so much knowledge that I want to share. And if you guys want to learn more about the, the four P's of the personal brand and you want help with creating your personal brand, then let me know because I do these personal branding boot camps. Again, I used to travel across the country doing these and then the pandemic happened and I had to stop doing it for a while. So it's been several years. Um, and then I recently started back up this summer doing personal branding boot camps, and they've been going really well. And I'm excited about it. My clients have been excited about them as well. So if you're interested and you want a personal branding boot camp uh, with me, then just holler, DM me on social media, any other platforms, or you can go to my website and fill out the form there. All right, that's all the time that I have for today. Again, I want to keep these joints like packed value pack power pack and i want to keep them short and sweet all right thank you so much for listening and until next time let's make it better by going up together peace this is a production of 1217 media